from Zoha Nisar. Profession, I am a student. City, Islamabad. Country, Pakistan. Dr. Zakir Naik, I hope that you answered this question. This is the only thing that makes me question everything. I am a practicing Muslim but have depression because of this question. The question is, in Islam to get all to worship Allah, Allah tells us to follow a set of rules written by him and we follow them, we will go to heaven and if we don't, we will go to hell. Now every single Muslim feared Allah and followed everything from the Quran and the Sunnah because he did not want to be sent to hell and only did all of this with the sole purpose that Allah was pleased with him and will send him to heaven. Now isn't this all based on just one thing and that is selfishness? Aren't they all doing all of this, living this difficult life full of hardships along with following all of the rules just so that they can enter heaven? But isn't Islam against selfishness? Isn't wanting something for yourself selfishness? So isn't all of this selfishness? The mere thought of heaven is the only thing that can motivate a selfish being such as humans to resist the urges, follow the rules given by us by God, fear him and worship him. If you answer this question, please, please let me know that you did. You will help a suffering student who has not been able to get this answer from anybody. The question posed by Zohar Nisar from Pakistan is that this question is troubling him a lot. And she says that all of us Muslims, we obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we follow the Quran and Sunnah because we want to please Allah and we want to go to heaven. So isn't the selfishness that all of us are doing all these rules and regulations following the Sharia, following the Quran, following the Hadith because we want to please Allah and go to heaven. So our sole purpose is to go to heaven. Isn't the selfishness? And isn't there a ruling in Islam that you should not be selfish? You should not be selfish. So aren't we contradicting that in Islam it teaches us not to be selfish? then we are selfish to go to heaven. This has been troubling him. Sister, first let me correct you. The ruling as far as not to be selfish is concerning worldly things. That you should not be selfish and strive only for the dunya. Allah says in the Quran that if you strive for dunya, I will give you dunya. I will not give you akhirah. If you strive for akhirah, Allah will give you akhirah and dunya both. So as far as striving for the worldly things and having a greed for the worldly things is haram. But striving for worldly things to earn a living is not haram. But the greed in such a way that you are selfish and don't want for others, that is haram. But just striving for worldly things which is a requirement, you are striving for earning a salary which is a requirement, is not haram at all. So the greed for the worldly material things in such a way that takes you away from Allah, that is haram in Islam. But striving for things in this world which is a requirement and not having a greed for it is permitted. Let me correct your knowledge of Islam. Coming to your main part, that aren't we being selfish because we want to go to Jannah? You said in your question correctly that we are doing it to please Allah so that Allah will put us in Jannah. So our main intention is to please Allah. Our main intention is to please Allah. Now when we please Allah, our reward is Jannah. So if you are pleasing someone else and especially a creator, if you please other human beings as long as they are not going against the Sharia, it is good. But if you are pleasing a creator, it is a further. Our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you this life, has given you the food, has given you the clothing, has given you all this niyama. It is our duty to obey him. Now when we obey him, our reward is Jannah. So pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not selfishness at all. Coming to your question again, that even if I agree with you, if someone is doing all these acts only to go to Jannah, is it selfish? Yes, but it is permissible selfishness. When you are selfish that you want to go to Jannah and while you are striving for Jannah, you aren't preventing anyone else to go to Jannah. If you prevent other from going to Jannah, even you shall not enter Jannah. So the rule of entering Jannah is that you try, besides you striving for entering Jannah, 
you strive others also to enter jannah so when you want to go to jannah and you want to strive others to enter jannah no way is it called selfishness if you say only i will go to jannah i will not allow others to go to jannah that is selfishness and that will not take you to jannah if you are striving to go to jannah by offering salah by giving charity by helping the others yes at the same time you also have to strive for others to go to jannah you cannot tell others don't give charity don't offer salah only i will offer salah so if you say only i will offer salah you don't offer salah i believe in tawhid you don't believe in god then that is called selfishness and that will not take you to jannah you doing something which is haram you are believing in tawhid and asking others to do shirk that will not take you to jannah so the islamic concept of pleasing allah is allah also says that besides you going to jannah you should do dawa to others and get them closer to allah subhanahu wa taala get them closer to islam do dawa even to the non muslims even to the muslims you do isla so in no way will it be called that if you are obeying the commandment of allah and you are entering jannah in no way will it be called selfishness selfishness means exclusive for yourself and not for others so your definition of selfishness is wrong so if you understand the definition of selfishness all your problem will be solved number 1 if you are doing it for yourself without breaking the sharia rule selfishness for the requirement which is there and which is not agreed even for worldly things that's acceptable you are selfish that you are working hard as long as it's halal earning so that you earn money and you feed your family it is allowed but if it's a greed that you are doing haram things to earn wealth so that you can store it it's haram as far as obeying allah it's a fard following the quran and the sahih hadith is a fard is it selfishness for akhirah in no way even if i agree it is selfishness that is taking you and for others so the moment you do for others it's not counted as selfishness so no way will i call it selfish selfish means exclusively for yourself what you are mainly doing is pleasing allah subhanahu wa taala in return the reward is jannah even if i strive that i am believing tawhid i am fasting i am praying five times a day so that i go to jannah it is not selfishness at all i am also striving for others to go to jannah i am doing that wa selfishness means exclusively for myself so i strive besides myself going to jannah i strive that the other muslims also should go to jannah i strive to the non muslims to make them muslims to make them follow tawhid to make them offer salah to make them give zakat so that even they can go to jannah so in no way will this be called selfishness so if you correct your thought process and correct your definition this is no way selfish in fact it is a fard for every muslim to dawa it's a fard for us to offer salah it's a fard to give charity and if you do this then you will be a true follower of allah subhanahu wa taala a true follower of quran and sahih hadith hope that answers the question